Shalom. S H A L O M. S H A L A M. And Shalom. First of all, let's do it. Shalom. Shalom and Shalom. It's just different dialects. Remember, the so called Jews, they speak a different dialect of Hebrew. When we write down the Hebrew, the Hebrew. We write it from an ancient dialect perspective. So when we write it, or when we say it, we say, Abba, Gada, Hawaza, Chataya, Kalamanasa, Ipataza, Prarashata. When they say their alphabets, there's a whole different dialect. It's Aleph, Bet, Gimel. You know, it's, it's totally different. It's just different dialects. Now we use the same symbols but the dialect is different so the shalom comes from the so-called Jews it comes from the so-called Jews the way they speak in their dialect we say shalom because there's no O in our dialect in their dialect they got English Yiddish German Spanish ours the ancient Hebrew doesn't have all that it doesn't have all that. So that's the difference between Shalom and sha Shalom, which is uh, the ancient way. Okay? Now, Shalom, that's just saying you add the Wa, Shalom, it's meaning like peace be upon you, peace to you. Right? Shalom is, is uh, just peace. So now you got. Uh, how, how you break it down in English like uh, what's the proper way to break it down in the English mind let me see uh, right you wouldn't say uh, to everybody no that's not the correct way because I'm going with plurals excuse me because I'm bad I'm bad at English <laughs> I'm bad at English, so I'm, but I'm trying to break it down with an English mind so you can kind of get a concept of what I'm saying. You know, the thing is, is that you, the, the term you're saying it in, Shalom, peace, peace be on, peace to you, is more like, uh, I guess, future tense. And then peace is just like, it's, that yeah, in that moment, peace, right? So, I mean... If, if, if you say peace, if I say peace to you, you get it, though. You're not saying, well, you know, uh, you're not, you're not going to say, well, you, that, you know, you mean peace to me or you mean just peace. You're not going to say that. You know I'm saying peace to you, right? So, I mean, the proper way would be shalom. It would be shalom, you know. But shalom is the same thing. Okay, that's that's the Hebrew. Alright, was that it? So hopefully that helps out. You know, we started a few classes back uh, on Sabbath. More than a few now. Uh, I'm sure it should be labeled in there, right? About, uh, Hebrew? Classes, yeah. yeah, the Hebrew, right? If you go through our channel, look up the Hebrew... Type in uh, ISBHVK Hebrew. You should be able to put some up on YouTube because we did we did all the alphabets. All right. We started with the sim. Uh, you let me use the proper term. We started with all the symbols and all the how the symbols sound and where they came from. So we did that a few times. I went over all those basics for a while. I didn't move on to anything because. Once again, consistency. Brothers and sisters got to be consistent. We wanted to see brothers and sisters consistent in class. So now we might come back around when we start it again, and we might just go breaking down, breaking down uh, future tense, past tense, present. We might start doing it that way. All right, but uh, that means that everybody got to know the app. They're 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 abagadas. They got to know what it is, how to say it, what it represents, and then we can move forward. You know, so it, you got to study. You got to study it. We didn't just want to move on and keep moving and the brothers don't get it. So um, 
That's what's up with the Hebrew.